Now at six, it's called ballot curing, and now less than two months from the November election, it's being banned here in Wisconsin. A judge ruled this week that the practice that had been allowed since 2016 violates state law. Ben Jordan goes in depth on what absentee voters need to know to make sure their vote counts. For the past six years, election clerks were able to fill out missing information on an absentee ballot envelope, particularly the witness's address. That is no longer allowed, and if it isn't corrected in time by the voter, their ballot won't count. Absentee ballots start going out for the general election in less than two weeks. This time, it's going to be more important than ever for voters to double check their ballots and envelopes before sending them back. Just the envelope. and. This is some, it's so simple, but you can, you can miss a line. Donald Griffin thinks the decision to no longer allow clerks to fill in missing witness information will ultimately disenfranchise voters. But Virginia Willingham thinks otherwise. You don't really truly know my true address or this, that, and the other. So I would prefer you mail it back to me and I can do it myself or call me. One of the two. Wisconsin Republican Party Chairman Paul Farrow says the Wisconsin Elections Commission's 2016 decision violated state law, and he applauds the Waukesha County judge's ruling to no longer allow it. In state law, the statutes read that an individual is the only person that can cure their absentee you know, envelope as they send it in. In fact, it even dictates that if the individual's witness doesn't put their address down, the ballot cannot be counted. Following the 2020 presidential election, the nonpartisan Legislative Audit Bureau reviewed nearly 15,000 absentee ballot certifications. It found that on about 7% of those ballot envelopes, the clerks filled in missing information. Milwaukee Election Commission Executive Director Claire Woodall Vogue says in Milwaukee's spring general election, officials cured the witness address just over 300 times, but four more voters are expected in November. We have a long history of if a voter's intent is clear, we don't try to discount someone's vote on a technicality. Claire says that's why Milwaukee absentee voters will now receive this bright orange reminder with their ballot. And if it's returned without all the information needed, the ballot will be immediately mailed back for the voter to fix. If a voter is waiting to the last minute to return their absentee ballot and something is missing, there's very little time to cure that. And that's when we are going to be looking, seeing if we have current contact information for the voter and doing everything that's within our power to make sure that their vote is counted. Claire says if the witness's address is missing the city, state, or even the zip code, it cannot be counted unless it's fixed by the voter. So it's best to get that information right before it's returned. Reporting outside City Hall, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.